Just stop. What? Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, the goal is to get Burgonia to three stars. So if you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe, but let's just get right into it. So last thing that happened on Burgonia is we were hunting for Lily on stream. We didn't find her. Of course I forgot and I did not set my clocks back. So that's where we stand. There's going to be someone in this plot, I presume. So we're gonna go see who it is and hopefully it's her. All right, so let's go over here. I'm nervous. Who is it, who is it? Oh, it didn't even sell, what? Okay, whatever. That's fine. I mean, maybe I can hunt again soon. So here's the thing. I know my island is at three stars, or not three stars. I wish it was at three stars. I know my island is at two stars. And so I've got my handy dandy official companion guide out here. And if you don't know, there is definitely like a system to how the star rating works. So walking around my island the weeds don't matter i'm just randomly picking stuff up just to do it so how the island ratings work is there are two things that isabel cares about development and scenery and each one has a separate point system that you have to earn points to reach a certain level to gain a specific star rating. So I need between 160 to 399 development points and 270 to 349 scenery points. Now, how do you go about getting your development and scenery points? Well, scenery, the first thing that contributes to scenery is plant life. So these are things like trees and flowers. So as you can see on this chart here, each tree earns you one point up to a max of 190 points. And then the flowers, it depends on if they are a sprout, stem, bud, or adult flower, and all of the points are there respectively. So ideally you wanna have adult flowers that's gonna earn you more points towards your rating system. The next thing that contributes to scenery points is DIY furniture. So on this one, you want to pay attention to not only having unique pieces, so each separate item, for example, two chairs, three chairs, four chairs, you also want to have different types of furniture. So you want to have a chair, a table, a stool, a bucket, whatever it is, because each one will contribute to the points differently. So you can see in this chart how those things would contribute for the points that you're trying to earn. There's obviously some math that goes into this if you really wanna break it down, but ultimately you just wanna have several different pieces of furniture along with several different types of furniture and that will gain you the most points. So then we're gonna get into development. The first thing that contributes to it are the different buildings and structures on your island. So the museum being built, Able Sisters being built. They want Nook's Cranny to be upgraded. Mine is not upgraded yet, it's just built. So I will not get any points for that. Uh, your island having bridges and inclines. All I have is one bridge, so I'm only gonna get 15 points for that. But if you wanna gain points quickly for development, Add some more bridges, add some more inclines, and that will get you some quick points there. Any non-DIY furniture also contributes to your development points, not your scenery points. And similarly to what we talked about earlier, you're going to want to have unique pieces of furniture as well as unique types of furniture to gain the most points in this category as well. For this one, you also get more points if the furniture was meant to be placed outdoors and based on how much the piece of furniture costs. So the more expensive the piece of furniture, the more points that you're going to get. Also, you can earn bonus points if you place fences and you just get more points added the more fencing that you have on your island. There are a few things that can dock you points and that is clutter and littering. For clutter, 
This is all based on an 8x8 section of your island that is 64 tiles in all. And if you have 45 or more spaces in that 8x8 section full, they're going to deem that a cluttered space and you're going to get docked points on your island. Now, that does not include things like buildings, bridges, buried items, rocks, cliffs, rivers, and inclines. So it's really just items and flowers for the most part. And the other thing that can dock you points is littering. So you want to make sure you don't have any more than 15 small items or dropped items on the ground. That includes DIYs, but things like seashells, branches, stones, mushrooms, and star fragments do not impact your rating at all. So that's kind of the breakdown of this whole rating system. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Really what it comes down to is you want to have a lot of flowers, a lot of trees, and several different furniture pieces, but also different types. So you just want to make sure there is a variety of items on your island. Now that I've gone over that, I'm going to start working on getting my island to three stars. I'm going to start by going to my storage, grabbing what I have, and we're just going to start placing it down and see where it goes from there. Okay, so first star check-in. I just placed a couple pieces of furniture, some DIYs, whatever I had in my storage, and she wants me to plant more fruit, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, first of all, I just spent way too long trying to figure out how to get a flimsy shovel and I couldn't figure it out. Didn't want to Google it because I was lazy, but then it took me way too long. So I ended up logging onto my other switch so I could send myself a shovel. So I need to figure out how to get the DIY. But now I'm time traveling forward, let's see, four days because I'm not sure if the trees have to be fully grown in and I don't want to waste my time talking to Isabel if they do. So I'm going to let the trees grow in. We're going to go talk to her again and see what she says. She may, she's probably still going to have something else for me to do. I just want to see where we stand. Isabel wants more flowers? Oh, I can give you more flowers. Don't you worry. We are not a stranger to flowers here. So let's go grab a 
a bunch of our seeds. We're gonna let our island turn into one big flower. I'm gonna plant a ton of flowers and then we'll time travel again and see where we are. Okay, so we have a ton of flowers now. Surely this is enough. If not, I can just grab some more seeds. Let me grab these nut miles. Always good when you get a nook mile achievement for it. I feel like that kind of, the nook miles kind of lead you in the right direction on what they want for this stuff. So let's go in here. I'm having, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to build some bridges or inclines and I may need to group some furniture more closely together. Those are the two things I feel like I'm gonna have to do next. Oh my gosh. Stop. Just stop. What? Okay, so obviously I had a lot of stuff done on my island as far as I have all 10 plots, I have my museum, nooks, ables, but I will definitely go around and just show you guys a little tour of my three-star island, and I think a lot of it really is just collecting enough stuff to put out, and this is just proof that it does not have to look good to get it to three stars. You can just kind of place stuff wherever you want to. Um, if you just want to get to three stars, obviously if you don't want to play that way and you want to actually build your island, make it look good as you're going up in star ratings, totally fine to do that too. But here we go, we're gonna get KK. could be here as soon as tomorrow. You know what? I almost guarantee he will be here tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, so three stars. Let's just go have a little walk around. Give you guys a little bit of a look at what my island looks like right now. Three stars, so I have two different fruits planted, apples and oranges. I have flowers everywhere. Weeds do not impact your star rating at all, which is nice. Um, a bunch of trees. I have not cut down any of my trees. Random furniture everywhere. I have 50 fence pieces. So one stack of fences placed. That's all that I put down. I have all of the shops, but this is just kind of what it looks like right now random stuff. I was worried that all my stuff was going to be a little bit too spaced out. I have not even touched anything on the second level or up. Only on the main level. This is just all the stuff they required me to have, plus the random fencing. So that's it. I have, what, one bridge, I think? Yes, one bridge, no inclines. And that is that. 
still no replacement in that plot. We can go run over and see. Oh, I also have these random DIYs right here. So that's nice. But yeah, this is what my three star island looks like. I'm so glad we made it to three stars. That is actually really exciting. My plot still isn't filling. So there we go. Three stars on Burgonia, and that means I need to start cleaning up. And we will be able to start the decorating process for this no terraforming island. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope detailing the rating system a little bit kind of helps. If you don't have access to this companion guide, this thing is super helpful. But I don't think it's available anymore except for really high prices for some reason. I don't know if they stopped printing it. But this information is really good, so I hope it helps. If you're trying to get to three stars or if you're trying to get to five stars, that is what you need to do is focus on this point system. So there is all that information. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.